Welcome to episode three of Dreams Decoded. <laughs> the hummingbird. So a couple of physical attributes of the hummingbird is that they do everything really fast compared to human beings. Their hearts beat 1260 beats per minute. The human heart beats 60 to 90 beats per minute. They breathe 150 respirations per minute. We breathe 16 to 20 respirations per minute. Their wings beat back and forth 350 times per minute. We walk maybe 2.5 miles per hour. I don't know really how many strides that would be per minute, but it would definitely not be 350 strides per minute. So these animals do everything really fast. They have spectacular vision and they can see in ultraviolet light. So, and with the human eyes, we're, you know, we have light sensitivities, right? So like we need sunglasses. Hummingbirds, they don't need sunglasses. Um, the other thing is that they only live three to five years. Yeah, human beings live a lot longer, um, but you know, that's just, it is what it is. So these are some physical attributes of the hummingbird. The archetype of the hummingbird would be that they represent joy, creativity, lightheartedness, and being in the present moment. So those are a couple of things that they're related to. For the chakras, they're related to the third chakra or the third eye and the solar chakra or the solar plexus. Now, when we think of the third eye, we think of meditating, right? Meditation can actually really help the creative process. So that's one of the things that we can do to slow the mind down, right? The hummingbird is always going really, 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 really fast. The other thing is for the solar plexus, right? The solar plexus is about building heat. It's the sun. So by exercising, by getting physical activity, by building heat, that can also help our creative process and it can also help us relax. It can help us to be in the present moment. It can help us to lighten up, right? You're having a bad day, get a good workout. You're gonna feel a lot better after that. Same with meditation. If you're feeling really crappy, go do a meditation. You're gonna find that you're feeling a lot better when you're done. So the dream that I had that we're going to decode is that I was wearing a hat in the dream and this hummingbird came up and it landed on the hat and then it started pecking through the hat, which was kind of insane and a little bit scary. And it also really hurt because it was like pecking into my head, like Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds. Ah! Anyways, maybe not quite Alfred Hitchcock's, he, he wasn't a seagull, it was a very cute little hummingbird, but that little pin needle really frigging hurt, right? I take off the hat and set it aside and the hummingbird is still pecking at that hat. Now looking at this dream, we wear many different hats, right? So for me, for instance, I have my day job, I have my writing career where I'm working on a fiction thriller coming out soon called Five Nights in Marfa. I have my poetry that I write. I have my video blog with you all doing dream decoding. And I also have some poetry that I break down. Um, so I have many different hats that I wear. And aside from that, you know, I'm a friend and I'm a sister, right? and I'm a daughter, and I have all these other roles in the world. So looking at this hat, that this hummingbird is like, I don't like this hat. You need to take this off because it's kind of messing with your head, right? So I take it off and it's like, yeah, screw this hat. So what it means to me is looking at all of the hats that we're wearing, is there one hat that is taking away from your creative process, that's taking away from, from your 
ability to be in the present moment that's taking away from your ability to speak sweet words instead of speaking in bitterness, right? The hummingbird drinks nectar, right? They would speak sweet words if they could. So looking at this dream was a message to me that not only myself, but all of you out there, we need to be careful about all the different hats that we're wearing and we need to be able to balance our stress levels well. And by doing that, a really good way of doing that is meditation and exercise, physical exercise. Also socializing with friends, socializing with family, that can also be really great. Um, and it's something that we need to do because we're pack animals. We're not meant to live in solitude. Now, that is this dream meeting. If you have a hummingbird that comes into your dreams or is something that you visualize in a meditation, the key things to think about here are how fast this animal moves, yet it's able to stay in the present moment. And the fact that it doesn't speak out of bitterness, it only enjoys the sweetness of life, right? So these are a few things. It is a very um, creative based archetype. It's related to the solar chakra and the third eye. So make sure that you are getting your creative process going if it comes into your dreams. If you're not, make sure that you're doing something creative. And this could really be anything. So it could be writing music, it could be writing stories, it could be, you know, making up a funny song with your friend or making up a silly story or making up a funny joke or making up a meme or something like that. So, I mean, there's an endless supply of different creative processes that all of us can do. Um, and, you know, human beings, we were meant to create. So, uh, and I have more about that in another one of my videos that you can check out. Anyhow, if you like the content, please hit like and subscribe, and I will keep on delivering the content. All right, I'll see you guys all later, and sweet dreams. Good night. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more content.